all of that. Let's talk real quick about a positive injury update, Scott. Then we'll get to some trade deadline stuff. Max Muncy. Um, I should I said a positive injury update. I, I that's the wrong transition here. That's a misleading headline. A yeah. negative, a very negative yeah, injury update Ugh. from from Max Muncy. These were the quotes. Um, he was asked about how his oblique is doing. It felt great. It felt normal. I was taking ground balls, throwing across the infield. We didn't feel a thing. So we progressed to swinging. I had two good, good days of full batting practice where I didn't feel anything at all. At this point, you're starting to think, man, roses, unicorns, like, let's go. Max Muncy's coming back. And then the third day it flared up. It's one of those things where my body was telling me to slow things down. And so now we're just sitting here. I don't think anybody has a timetable. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't think anybody has a timetable. He's already been out for two weeks because we can't really put one on it. An oblique strain is probably the worst injury you can have as a position player because you can't do anything. You can't strengthen it. You can't strengthen the area around it. You can't do anything with the rest of your body because you have to involve your core to do it. You have to sit and let it heal. And that is where we're at. We talked about how badly they need Max Muncy back, Scott. That sounds like we're like three weeks away minimum. I mean, yeah. we're, we have no no timetable is like the worst thing you could hear. It is an oblique, so we can have a timetable in our head. It's not like an elbow or a shoulder, no timetable situation. But man, on a day when you need some offensive production, when you need Max Muncy back, that's not the update we wanted. Yeah, the update prior uh, to this in late May, you know, like about a week ago was that uh, that he stopped swinging. You know, Dave yeah. said he stopped yeah. swinging for the time, and now it's to the point where – I, I really do think that it's going to be some time. Like I know I see people saying out for the season, like it could get to the point where we're well, Scott, it can't be some time. Dave told us yeah. it was just going to be the minimum, a little bit of minimum, right? You know, Dave, <laughs> classic Dave guys. But I think, you know, Jeff, it's a concerning thing too. Yeah. Like it's, yeah. it's this, we're going to be projecting towards past the deadline all-star break. So it's going to get to a, you know, you just have to shut it down. I, yeah. I know myself, I went to the cages like two weeks ago. My rib cage was flaring. Here we go, like baby. A week, like I hadn't swung like that. I was playing slow pitch for the last couple of years, and I stepped in against eighty. And I, after like a hundred swings, I was ripping. So I, it was hurt. You were taking I, I swings hurt. on eighty miles an hour. Oh, BP. Yeah, we. What's we're our contact BP. rate in there? We we putting the bat on the ball Pretty high at the time. Pretty high. We need to get in the men's league. I gotta. We, I know people. I got my buddies watching. They're gonna definitely say. Bro, yeah, I was. We get I was there. terrified of fifty-five miles an hour as like a sixth grader. I ain't. I ain't getting in an eighty mile an hour. I mean, I get in a cage because at least you know where it's going, but. Yeah. Men's league is a big hard pass for me. Too much variability. Okay. I don't want the guy that throws 80 that pounded a couple of bush lights right before taking them out. I'm not interested in that. Yeah. Yeah. We, but definitely, you know, back to Muncie, like it's, it's a slow, somebody said it's going to be a slow program. Yeah. It's, it's going to be a slow time. Yeah. Especially yeah. for, I know people want to make a thing about his body, but it's, it's for anybody, you know, it's a oblique injury is nothing to mess with. It's kind of a spot where you just have to slow it down and Hopefully it doesn't flare up and it's healed. And with as much torque Muncie puts into those swings, it's, it could be quite some time. So, but that's my thing about like, you know, Rojas could get some more run in that way. Uh, you know, pushing somebody to the corner infield and at least you're getting a solid glove there. But I really do think that, uh, do they need a third baseman? Do they need an infielder? But it's just now it's going to open up another issue for him. It's unfortunate because Muncie means so much to this lineup and it had a little protection for Teoscar. So now it's a now that we don't really know what Max Muncy's going to give. Uh, it's we just hope it's not the season. That's worst case scenario, and that's something yeah. I don't think I'm even ready to hypothesize yet. Yeah, no, I'm with you. And keep in mind, I mean, Muncy's got one more year left on his contract, and then a club yeah. option in 2026 on friendly terms. So Which that's the other up. tricky part when you're trying to trade to replace. Talking about trading to replace a guy who's just injured, but who's projected to come back at some point this season. Still, yeah. I think would be a safe bet, <clears throat> and definitely in the mix next year and beyond at the age of 34. And, and then the age of 35, you kind of have to walk that fine line between finding a replacement, but knowing that it's a short-term replacement as well. Absolutely. So again, the update on Max Muncy is that there is no update. There is no timetable. He swung, he felt good. He swung, he felt good. He swung, he felt bad. And he's totally shut it down. And because of that core injury, like Scott's talking about there, there's just nothing you can do about it. You just got to sit around and wait, you can't keep your legs fresh. You can't keep your arms fresh because yeah. all of it involves your core. So um, tough, tough luck for the Dodgers, tough luck for Max Muncy. But again, on a day like today, reminded just how desperately they need Max Muncy back. Uh, one more.